Hey guys, did you know that you can actually make money on your phone by receiving text messages and simply ignoring them? It may sound a little bit spammy, but I promise that this is 100% legit. I'm going to tell you all about that today and let you decide for yourself if this is something that you'd like to try out too. Welcome to Next Level Finance, the channel where we teach you how to make money online with your financial freedom as the ultimate goal. If this is something that you're interested in, then please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell because it really supports the channel. And with that said, let's get right into today's money-making idea. Companies worldwide want to send important SMS messages to consumers like yourself and it's crucial for them to test the available SMS routes worldwide in order to ensure a proper delivery. And you'll get paid for every SMS that they send you because they use your phone number to provide such testing services. Before we proceed, let me tell you really quickly that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme by any means. You won't be able to quit your job or make a career out of doing this, but it's really a simple way to make money without doing any work. So if you're the type of person who likes to monetize any free time that you might have, then please keep watching and I'll take you through each of the steps and even share some of my own bonus tips with you. To get started, you'll want to download the Mac Money app on their website. Again, it's cm.com slash macmoney. It should be an APK file that's compatible with all kinds of Android smartphones. That's right, this app is unfortunately only available for Android users. So once your app is ready, you'll want to go through and accept the terms and conditions of use. And then select the country where you live, enter your mobile number, and then enter in the OTP code that they send you to verify your mobile number. And that's it! You should start receiving text messages along with a welcome bonus within the first three days. And like I said earlier, you will be earning from each text that comes in. You do want to note that SMS messages will not actually be messages, but rather gibberish or a random string of characters that the company will send you. So after checking that it's been received in your Mac Money app, you can simply delete it immediately and you don't need to reply or even verify that you did indeed receive it. You might also want to note that Mac Money states that the number of SMS that they send each user per week may vary and that having a stable internet connection is the best way to ensure that you receive more, which is of course what we want because the more that they text us, the more they pay us. Also, depending on the Android phone that you use, you might need to unblock the service on your phone settings just to maximize your earning potential. So if you're enjoying this video so far, then please do make sure that you smash that like button, you subscribe, comment, just so we know that this is the kind of content that you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. When it comes to payout, I think that Mac Money is also doing a pretty good job. The payout threshold is at only $1, 
and you can cash out using your PayPal account. If you don't already have one, I suggest that you go get yourself one because you do need a legit way to get paid online and PayPal is one of the most commonly used platforms out there. Besides that, Mac Money does release payments on a weekly basis. There are three reasons why I keep using the Mac Money app even if it doesn't offer the best rates. Number one is the income that you will receive from this platform is truly passive. You don't need to answer any surveys or complete any offers for you to start earning. There are no hidden tasks. All you need to do to start earning is to register and wait for the company to send you SMS messages on your phone using your telecom carrier. The second thing that I like most is that unlike other platforms, Mac Money doesn't require you to submit personal details such as your name, your age, employment status, etc. Only your phone number and you're all set. Third is they are backed by a trusted Dutch company and your data will be stored in a secure server in the Netherlands and that all their services are based on ISO 27001 standards. Which then brings us to the bonus tips. So the first bonus tip that I wanted to share with you is that you can set specific availability windows for Mac Money to be sending you messages. Say for example, you don't want to be bothered during odd hours of the night or when you're at work, then you can certainly specify that. And depending on your preference, you can either put your phone on silent or set certain hours as unavailable under the app settings. You can also opt to disable the app in your settings at any time if you don't want to receive text during a particular period. Just remember to switch it back on after. Bonus tip number two is that if you have an extra Android phone lying around at home, you might want to consider using that one instead of your main phone. And while Mac Money is owned and operated by CM, which is definitely a respected member of the telecom industry, Using a spare phone should still feel more convenient and a little bit less invasive, if you know what I mean. I personally have an old phone handy and I use it to test a lot of platforms, such as this one, just so I can save on storage space and also to avoid